Hey guys, Prick here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to re-roll the Uber Archangel. So, what you need is a good build. So I have a Soul Eater, Final Stand Shield. This Soul Eater isn't even that good, so it doesn't really matter what kind of Soul Eater you have. And you just need these two uh, runes. So you do need two R9s in order to do this if you want to do it the exact same way as me. But I'm sure there's other builds that are a lot more simple that you can... Uh, do this with the Uber Archangel with. I just wanted to go for a pretty safe way that can work for everyone. So yeah, we have that and then we just need the uh, Uber Scrolls. So we're gonna open this Uber Scroll in front of our house. Uh, that's one of the most important things. You need to open it in front of your house so when you surrender, uh, you can go back in as quick as possible because this is a lengthy process. So we surrender immediately because we see loot that we don't like, then we go back in, and then we just keep on repeating this process. Make sure you have at least one health at the top there so you can see the loot that you're getting. Uh, and then you just keep on repeating this until you get an R9. So as you can see, the loot changed there. I went, I went in at zero health, which is why I lost immediately. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out. We're gonna go until we at least get a green rune just to show that you can actually get it. So we got an R6 there, it's pretty good. You would go until you get the R9, if you are farming for R9s. It is about a one in 100 chance to get an R9 from these guys. So it is pretty lengthy, um, but as you can see, the loot does change from surrendering. Your guy doesn't disappear. Uh, this is uh, probably the best way to get R9s in early game. Uh, other than that, that's all I have. It's pretty simple now to beat the Uber Archangel, or to re-roll the Uber Archangel. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Other than that, see you later. Bye.